What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're having some fun on the ranked double ladder with this Chlorophyll Skull villain team that also features Mirror Herb Dragapult. You guys are a new deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you stay up to date on all of my content. Just got to give a huge shout out to all my subscribers, everybody who likes the videos, and everybody who tunes into any of the videos. It really goes a long way and it helps me grow as a content creator. We get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Skull Villain. Such a cool Pokemon, and it is the only Pokemon to be a grass and fire type. It has Cooler Fill as its ability to double its speed in the sun. It has a Choice Scarf as item. Then it's Rock and Flamethrower, Grass Knot, Terra Blast, and then its signature move, Spicy Extract. Second Pokemon is going to be Torkoal. Pairs really well with the Skull Villain due to Chlorophyll as its ability. And on top of that, it is a weather control Pokemon in case we're going up against, say, a rain team. It has Drought as its ability, alongside with the Citrus Berry as item. Drunk Heat Wave, Protect, Helping Hand, and Yawn for its moveset. Third Pokemon is going to be Dragapult over here with the Clear Body ability and the Mirror Herb as its item. Mirror Herb is a new item in this game, and it copies the opponent's stat changes. We have Grafia on our team also with Swagger, so I can Swagger an opponent, give it a plus two attack boost. Dragapult can also copy that stat boost and get rolling from there. Dragapult's moveset consists of Dragon Darts, Terra Blast, Substitute, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon, like we already mentioned, is going to be Grafia over here, a new support mod released in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And this Pokemon is absolutely amazing. I don't get why people don't use it a lot more, but there are some really good other support mods that are viable, but I really do like Grafia when I have been using it. It has Prankster as its ability, Focus Dash as its item, and it's got Gunk Shot, Parting Shot, Foul Play, and Swagger for its four moves. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Rotom Wash, a Pokemon that you can't really go wrong with on any team. Its typing is phenomenal with that electric and water, this one has Levitate as its ability, and the Choice Specs as its item. It's got Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, Terra Blast, and Volt Switch for its four moves. Final Pokemon is going to be Meowskarada. Meowskarada has just been top tier within the ranked gameplay. Such a strong Pokemon due to its ability and its speed stat is really, really strong as well. It has Protean as its ability and then has Choice Band as item. Rock and Flower Trick, Foul Play, Brick Break, and Sucker Punch. Really solid moveset for a Choice Band Meowskarada. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, Nuts Code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Mirror Herb Dragapult and Skull Villain team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a double dragon meta team with Hydreigon, Garchomp, Golden Go, Amoongus, Murkrow, and Population Bomb, Mousehold. So he has three support Pokemon, basically two because I'm going to consider Mousehold as an attacker. Gotta watch out for it, but two very strong physical attackers with Garchomp and Mousehold, and then two very strong special attackers with Golden Go and Hydreigon. How should I play this one? How should I get after it? I could go in with... Bum, 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 bum. I could go in with you. Spicy Extract is not too bad. Spicy so Extract boosts attack and drops defense, so it's really good up against special attackers and alongside with Dragapult. I could go in both of them. I do like that. I do like Dragapult as lead. I might even go Grafia as lead too. Grafia's not shabby, especially if we're going up against special attackers. I could boost their attack and mirror herb at that at the same time. So I'm really liking that. I'm really liking these two as a combo. So I'm going to go with those two. I am going to bring... Hmm... Meowskarada in the back end is not bad either. I like Meowskarada here. And then last but not least, we're going to go with some Skull Villain action. Just have this Pokemon here. It's Choice Scarf. Pretty solid in the back end. Moveset is not bad with the Flamethrower, Grass Knot, Terra Blast, and Spicy Extract. And then it's uh, it has Fairy Terra. That's not too bad up against these dragons. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So we're going to lock in Skull Villain. We're going to lock in our team and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yeah, going up against Heavy Meta. Hopefully we can counter it. It's always fun to beat some meta teams with some off-meta Pokemon. So I'm really hoping we can grab ourselves a win. Plus, this is my first time using Skull Villain. It's such a cool Pokemon. Again, signature move is Spicy Extract. It boosts the attack stat of whatever Pokemon you use on, but it lowers its defense. So it's actually really good to use up against opposing special attackers and pretty good to use up against our ally physical attackers. As long as they outspeed their attack stat can get boosted. It's by two stages and it can just rip into Pokemon left and right. We'll see what our opponent wants to lead. They're going to lead the Hydreigon alongside with the Garchomp, which isn't too bad for us. I don't really mind it too much. Um, hmm. I could go into a lovely little Dragon Dart here. It's going to be bad, and I can Terrasilize straight into Ghost, which I'm really liking. I'm just going to Dragon Dart here, and you know what? I'm just going to Swagger over onto you. Actually, we can't, we can't uh, Prankster that thing. It kind of hurts the soul. Do I boost the Garchomp's attack? I think we do. I think we boost the Garchomp's attack. Give it a confusion, but mere herb it. Because we're going to outspeed it. So I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. 
I'm all about it. He withdraws the Garchomp. Going to a special attacker. This could be good for us. Could be really good for us. He's going to go into Amoongus. That isn't too bad. He might just protect the Hydreigon. That's not bad for a Swagger. I don't mind that Swagger. I don't mind that Swagger. Because Dragapult can just straight up outspeed. I don't see him going for a Dark move. I see him more so going for like a Draco Meteor. So maybe we can eat that up after his Terrestrialization. And we'll just kind of go from there. He ends up protecting. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I'm all, I'm all, I'm all cool with this turn. Swagger's gonna pop out here. Not a bad move. We're gonna attack, boost his attack stat. We're gonna confuse him at the same time. But now I should just mirror herb that, right? I don't use a mirror herb too much. Yep, there it is. There it is. So mirror herb pops out here. We get that lovely attack boost, and Dragon Dark is just gonna both slide over onto this uh, Amoongus, which is solid, and pick up the KO. Oh, pick up the KO. Take it out. Let's go. That's a big time KO right there. Hot start from us with that Dragapult mirror herb. I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. But now we're solid Ghost type. He knows what we are. We do have speed right now, unless he brings out uh, his Tailwind Pokemon. I'm pretty sure he had Murkrow on his team. Let's see who he throws out. It's gonna be Golden Ghost. Golden Ghost is gonna fly out here. That's not too bad. I do have Terror Blast ready to roll. I do also have Dragon Arts. I think I'm just gonna do this, and I think I'm just going to Parting Shot. Actually, we can't. I could Foul Play. I could Foul Play. I was gonna say we could Parting Shot, but stat changes do not effect good as gold Pokemon. I would still love to swap. Hmm. I'm gonna throw a Dragon Dart, so I'm just gonna foul play. He has to terrestrialize one of these Pokemon, right? And I would think it would be the Hydreigon. Makes the most sense to be the Hydreigon. Just to dodge a Dragon Dart, that's plus two. And we outspeed. We'll see. We'll see. And then who do we have in the back end? We have Skull Villain and... Who did I bring? It wasn't Rotom. I can't even think of the team we have. I can't even think of it. I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea why. Cannot think of it. It's Skullville and somebody else. It's not the Torkoal. It's the last Pokemon that I can't think of. It's all good. He's going to end up protecting the Golden Go. I mean, that's fine. Both the Dragon Arts are going to slide over. And we might be able to pick up the KO with this. Dragon Arts is incredible. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. Run it. Run it. I'm going to party shot into the next Pokemon. But, yeah, that's why Dragon Darts is so good. If one Pokemon protects... The, the other shot will slide over, which is amazing. I don't know if uh, Dragon Darts say if I would have went after Golden Go, if the move slides over. But if nobody protects, one dart hits the left opponent, one dart hits the right opponent, and it does double or splits damage. But once somebody protects, it slides over, and both darts go onto the same opponent. So he's going to throw a Garchomp. It's GG. This match is over with. This match is over with. I'm going to Dragon Darts this uh, you right here, and I think we're just foul play. I don't think we swap. I think we go for the sweep here. Battle was just canceled. There it is, yo. Did we get touched? I don't think we got touched. That might have been a perfect sweep. What a way to get this video started with a perfect sweep. None of our opponents took damage. Dragapult and Grafia just ended up getting after it. But we're hopping into our second battle. Going up against a pretty similar team. They got Grimmsnarl. They got the uh, Garchomp. They got Rotom Heat, Gyarados, Golden Go, and Amoongus. I'm going to go Skull Villain here. And I'm going to go my boy Dragapult. We're going to try to mirror herb with uh, Spicy Extract yet again. And kind of get after the battle that way. I'm kind of all about it. We could do that. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. But I really do like these Pokemon. They, it's going to be decent for us. I'm all about it. Especially because I do think he's possibly going to lead the Golden Go. And if he leads the Golden Go, I can pretty much just dump on it with a Flamethrower from Skull Villain. So it's not too bad. I like this Pokemon. Miyashkarada has to come in the back end. Just too strong not to bring. And then last but not least, I'm kind of leaning towards the Choice Specs Rotom. Choice Specs Rotom is not too bad. It has the Water move. It has the Electric moves. I'm kind of digging it. Or I can bring the Weather Control, but I just don't think we need it. I think Rotom's going to be a lot better for us. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look, go back to back here for today's video. But as some of you guys know, or if you guys do not know, I have a donation link down in the description below. If you guys want to donate, be my guest. It means so, so much. But I just want to give a huge shout out to everybody who has donated so far. Absolutely love you guys. Cannot thank you guys so or, or enough for the support. It really does go a long way. So if you guys donate to me, thank you guys so much. And again, donations are not mandatory. They just really help me out. But yeah, just want to thank everybody who is just supporting the channel. It's really gone a long way. But they're going to end up leading. Who did they even lead? I missed it. Amoongus and... What's your other Pokemon? Cannot make my turn until I can see your other Pokemon. Please. And Rotom Heat. Okay. I don't mind that. I can Flamethrower straight into this thing. I could Spicy Extract as well. So I might just do. You know what? I am going to do that. I am Choice, aren't I? Then I would have to swap. So I'm going to Spicy Extract. I mean, what would be the point of that? I mean, just to drop their defense would be nice. I'm going to use that onto the Moose. Actually, I'd rather use it onto the... 
I'm gonna have to use it onto you. So I'm gonna use that, and I'm just gonna drag it Dutch across the board. Use that. So Rage Power's gonna come out here. Um, he could go for a nasty spot. Could be a little scary. Spicy Extract's gonna fly here. And that still went at. Why did it go after? Does it ignore Rage Powder? That's pretty sick. That is really sick that it ignores Rage Powder. I'm um, Grass type. I'm Grass type. That's why I ignored Rage Powder. <laughs> but we're going to go for uh, Dragon Darts here and we'll both slide over. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of the Moogus. So Moogus is gone. My defense, I think, is down or does it only copy the attack stats? Which would be nice. He's going to go for a Will O' Wisp. Kind of hurts the soul. But we're boosted on attack, which is pretty solid for us. I do have to swap now, or I could boost my attack yet again. It's up to me. It is actually. It, I, I get to make the decision. Too. <laughs> I kind of just want to go after this for a time. Kind of do. Again, I'm choosing a spicy extract. I would love to swap this Pokemon. But I don't know if I should go for another one. It really depends. We're already plus two, which is pretty solid. They're going to throw out their next Pokemon, which is going to be Golden Go. I kind of want to swap. I kind of want to swap and save this Pokemon for later. Because if we have it for later, that's not bad for the Golden Go. I feel like at this point, we could just go in the Rotom. Choice to like a Hydro Pump. I think I feel like Hydro Pump style move. Yeah, I'm going to swap you. And I'm just going to go into a... I don't want to Thrasilize. I really don't. I'm just going to go into a Dragon Darts into the uh, Rotom Heat. As much as I want to Thrasilize here and just dump on the uh, the Golden Go, I just want to save my Thrasilization. I feel like we can get a much more value with other Pokemon on this team. He ends up protecting. I wonder if one of the Dragon Darts is still going to hit the Golden Go. Which could be really good. Oh, or both of them will hit it. That's amazing. That's amazing. The Dragon Darts is so good. It's such a strong move. You can go for a Shadow Ball, and that's going to take me out. That's no big deal. You're already burned me. I'm not too worried about it. So at this point, I could just choice to a Flamethrower and go after that Golden Go, which I like a lot. Or I could go into Miascarada, but I'd rather save Miascarada with the Choice Ban. I definitely would rather save the Miascarada. All right, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Skull Villain coming out and about. I'm loving this Pokemon. We're going to go straight into a Hydra Pump with this thing, and we're trying to take that thing out, and then I'm just going to go straight into a Flamethrower. I feel like that 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 Rotom has to have Grass Terror type, right? It's it's or not Grass Terror type, uh, Water Terror type, or even Grass Works. Just something to resist water water moves. So that's the only thing that's super effective up against. So ends up with on the Golden Go. He's gonna show its final Pokemon. Hopefully, it's a physical attacker, and hopefully, we get a burn off onto it. And it is going to be Garchomp. Okay, hopefully, we get off a burn. Could be a big time burn from us. Flamethrower is gonna fly here. He doesn't have Terrasize or anything. Give me a burn. No burn. Thunderbolt coming hot. Can you eat this? You can eat that. Really well, actually. And then Hydro Pump should just be able to rip, the, rip into this thing. And I really like where we're sitting with this battle. I really like where we're sitting with this battle. I could actually Terrasilize into Fairy at this point. With my Skull Villain. Actually, no. We don't want to do that because it's going to bring out Golden Go. I'm just going to Flamethrower into Golden Go again. I'll throw a Hydro Pump into the Garchomp slot. In case he wants to uh, Terrasilize into ground. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. We have such good Pokemon on the field. We still have Miascarada in the back end, which works beautifully. It has a choice band. It has Protean. It's going to be able to do a big time damage. But yo, I'm loving this team. This team's a lot of fun to use so far. You got the Skull Villain. Skull Villain's sick with the little chili peppers on its head. <laughs> you got the Miascarada, which Miascarada is always fun to use. Mirror Herb Dragapult has been so much fun to use. I love Dragapult already. Like, I already love Dragapult, and now it's getting like more usage out of it. I love it. And especially this is one of my first times using the Mirror Herb. I'm really loving it. Flamethrower is going to come through here. Surprised he didn't Terrasilize yet. I'm super surprised at that. And we take him out. He must have just been Steel Terra. I think that was his kind of thing. Dragon Claw is going to fly here. Probably KOs. We get a free Focus Ash. It feels so good to get a free Focus Ash. I feel like I never get the free Focus Ash. At the cost of what, though? At the cost of what? I end up missing my Hydro Pump. Hurts the soul. That's the soul, but I'm just going to pop a flamethrower. I could actually change to a fairy type, but it wouldn't really do anything if he's just popping ground moves. We'll see what our opponent wants to do. There's the terrestrialization. I feel like that has to be ground, right? Most Garchomp's just rip with ground. Let's see. What is it? It's going to be fire. It's going to be fire. So you have to go after my Rotom here. You have to go after my Rotom. I still have my terrestrialization, which is solid. Flamethrower's going to come out here. It's going to resist it. Give me a burn. Actually, can't burn fire types. Dragon Claw flies. He finishes off that Pokemon. Again, we still have Miyazaki squad in the back end. Good game. Good game. It was a good game. Because I can legit just sucker punch you and KO you. It'd be light work. I'm not even going to Thrasilize. 
I am not even going to Thrasize. There's no point to. The Sucker Punch KOs you all day. Sucker Punch KOs you all day. I'll keep popping flamethrowers. I could actually... I, actually, I can't spicy extract. Because I'm choice. But still, Sucker Punch KOs all day. And what are you doing? Oh, you're change typing. I was going to say. How we miss. We don't KO. That kind of hurts soul. But Skull Villain actually outspeeds. This guy gets free focus, Ash. Skull Villain going to come out here. A little bit of flamethrower action. Pick up another win for you guys. And we start off today's video 2-0. Third and final battle coming at you guys. And look at the surprise we have in battle number three. We're going up against another heavy meta team. I've been dominating the meta teams with off meta teams. I always feel like I play better with off meta teams. I don't know why. I just do. But going up against Garchomp, Sylveon, Golden Go, Amoongus, Murkrow, Arcanine. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. Hopefully we can dump on it and have some more fun with this team right here. Um, who should I lead? How should I go into this? Yes, Sylveon. Sylveon seems like it could be a little bit of a problem. Um, do I lead Miascarada? I mean, he could pop a Tailwind. Tailwind could be rather annoying. I might just leak Grafia. I really do like Grafia. I might Mirror Herb again. I like that Mirror Herb. I'm going to Mirror Herb. I feel like it's just a simple play. Still think I might get a lead, but we're going to bring in nice, lovely Skull Villain again. I just like having Skull Villain and me Askarada. I really like this team right here. We used this in the first battle, but Dragapult and Grafia kind of just uh, steamrolled everything. We're not going to use the Torkoal in today's video. I feel like Torkoal is more so set for up against Trick Room teams. So, I feel like we're fine. I feel like we are definitely fine with what we have. We are versing Luka. Hopefully, it's Luka Doncic. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Could you imagine? I just see a clip later of Luka Doncic, like, raging on Pokemon because he lost to me. <laughs> That'd be the highlight of my life, dude. I swear. <laughs> but hopefully, we can grab ourselves a perfect record. I think we grabbed ourselves a perfect record in the last video. I forget. I have a good memory, but sometimes I don't. It's weird. It's very weird for me. It's very weird. But uh, they're going to end up leading Murkrow alongside with Sylveon. Um, I have Gunk Shot. I think I'm fine with just popping a Gunk Shot. And protecting. I'm fine with this. I'm cool with this. He does have Haze with the Murkrow, so that could kind of ruin my Mirror Herb kind of kind of thing going I have. <laughs> so, it could be a pain. We'll see what they want to do. They are going to end up Terrasalize, and that hurts the soul. But you're going to go straight Fire-type, aren't you? Come on. Why couldn't you just leave Sylveon normal? Yep, there's Fire-type. Why couldn't you leave normal? Why couldn't you do it, Sylveon? Why couldn't you just be a, be a cool person for once? Tailwind's probably coming out here. Hyper Voice also flying. I should just party shot. Maybe I'll party shot next turn. Maybe I shall party shot next turn. Bunk shot flying. That would've been sick. Look, we would've picked up the KO easily. Instantly. Wait, we still outspeed. Grafia still outspeeds at Sylveon. Grafia still outspeeds at Sylveon. We just need to lay another gunk shot. Why well, I boost my special attack. That sucks. <laughs> I just mirror herb special attack boost. That sucks, man. I can't do this. Actually, uh, what's called could be good. My Terra Blast. I'm gonna go for a substitute. If I can pull off substitute, that'd be nice. I'm gonna go for a substitute. Crap play comes in, we're dead, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I outspeeds, which is beautiful. So, okay, so there's a big time KO. I, I'm cool with that. I don't mind that at all. I really don't mind that. Okay, so we pick up the KO. I don't know if we should bring out... I think we should bring out Miascarada at this point. Save our Skull Villain for the back end, especially because he's choice scarfed. I'd rather have for later. But I do have Terrestrialization. I could tear it into Fairy with that, which could be good. So far, it's looking pretty good for us. Do I have Grafi here? Actually, why don't we just parting shot? Drop this thing's attack. And then I'm gonna just go poison to a flower trick. I'm not too worried about the Merkur. I mean, what's Merkur gonna do? It has haze. I uh, could probably haze next turn. It has tailwind foul play. I'm not too worried about the Merkur, you know? I'm gonna end up withdrawing the Merkur. Maybe just protecting guard shop. But I'm hoping I can just get off this parting shot and rip into it. Gonna show his final Pokemon. Gonna be Arcanine. 
Mm. That is tough. Arcanine's really tough for us. And Garchomp with a Protect. That's really tough for us. Honestly, that's super, super tough for us. Arcanine's a tough customer for us. Um, psh, 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 how can I do this? We're switching to straight grass type, which sucks now. It's awful. It is awful. So we might just hard swap into Murkrow at this point. I am going to have to partner shot into Arcanine. And I'm choice to flower trick now, aren't I? Yes. That hurts a lot. But hard swap, if you're going for a fire move, I might hard swap into you. And just save my Miascarada. Cause then I can pull out Miascarada on the other slot. Cause I can definitely see our opponent swapping Garchomp, right? I don't think they did though. But we're gonna bring out my spicy extract boy. He's probably gonna protect the Arcanine. No, he does not. So no EQ's coming out here. I'll take that parting shot all day. And we'll roll back into Miascarada. Oh, this is tough. This is real tough. This is real tough. <laughs> this is real tough. We got we got we gotta figure out some some plays here to, to grab ourselves some win. So we get back out Miascarada. Our choice ban resets, which is good. Drag Claw's gonna fly here. And picks up that much damage. And Flare Butt's gonna fly here. You should be able to eat this up, school villain. Cool, I love you. So we're able to eat. I have Sucker Punch ready to go. Well, actually, Tailwind's calling. That's huge, that's lovely. Get to Rastalize. I'm gonna try to size my school villain actually. And I guess I'll just go for a, like a foul play or brick break or sucker punch. Not bad here either. I don't mind choosing into sucker punch here and then just try size and you terror blasting this the guard chomp and going from there. That's gotta be my play. I need this fairy type. He has Mercury on the back end too. We tear it in a fairy. Yo, look, it goes on the side of the one head. <laughs> Usually I'm so used to it being like on the middle of somebody's head. But since there's two heads, I have to put it on one side. He protects the chomp. Okay. He protects the chomp. Sucker Punch is flying through here. Can this KO? That's a decent amount of damage. One more should KO. Never mind. He has a berry. Berry kind of hurts the soul. If I can get rid of Garchomp, I feel like we have a, we have a shot at winning this. Fire Blast does get blocked, kind of hurts. And what are you going for here? Another Flare Blitz? Flare Blitz into Miascarada, okay. Which I eat, thank god I switched to Dark type. That is huge, that's lovely. I love this game. And I'm choosing to Sucker Punch now, so I'm just gonna go here. I have to go into Terror Blast. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm surprised you didn't swap into Murkrow just to try to get some Tailwind speed out. Well, this is such a good battle. What a way to finish off today's video. And Miascarada able to eat that, that's that's huge for us. That's really, really big for us. So that allows us to get off at least one more Sucker Punch. If they want to go for a move. I'm choosing a Sucker Punch. I have to I have to constantly use it. I'm gonna withdraw the Garchomp. So we're gonna take out the Murkrow here. Unless well, Murkrow's Sash. Do we do any damage to the Crow? Did I touch up on the Crow yet? It might be Sash. That could hurt the soul. Actually, it's probably Evo Light. Can we KO here? We go for another Sucker Punch. Arcanine's gotta take me out, right? Terra Blast is flying. Please take out the micro. Just get rid of it, Skullbone. Just get rid of it. We need you to take out. It's sashed. It's sashed. It's sashed. He goes for another player, but it's gotta take out. No, you don't take out my. Mi Do not take out my Miascarada. Do not take out my Miascarada. This match is way too close. Way too close. <laughs> way too close. Maybe thought I was protecting the Miascarada. So obviously Tailwind's gonna come out here. Sucker Punch will KO the Arcanine whenever it moves. And now the real thing is, can my choice scarf Skull Villain? Did you not go for a Tailwind? Hold up. Okay, it did. It's just the uh, protecting Sucker Punch came out first. I, w I was going to say, you might have just threw the match with that one. Okay. So Garchomp's going to come out here. We need to land a Terror Blast. If we can land a Terror Blast, it's pretty much game, set, and match. But I think it comes down to whether or not my Skull Villain 
can outspeed the guard chop, right? I'm choice scarfed. It's in the tailwind. I think the guard chop outspeeds. I just gotta see skull villain speed. I don't know how good it is or how bad it is. What's your speed, little buddy? What's your speed, little buddy? Only if I could set the sun. No, there's no way you're outspeeding. There's no way you're outspeeding. We're choosing to the sucker punch. Gotta go for terror blast. Not looking good. Let's see what he does. Garchomp protects. That might be good for us. I think it knows we're choice now. That was a smart play right there, Arcanine. Arcanine's gonna protect again. That KOs me. Oh, that was a really smart play. Okay, uh. If we had protect, that would be nice. I could swagger the guard chop. Hmm. Oh, I survived that. He's gonna protect there, so you know what? I'm gonna double down the chomp. I'm gonna protect the Arcanine slot. Arcanine slot's probably getting protected. It just doesn't want to die out due to these sucker punches. So before my Miascarada goes out here, I might as well drop a sucker punch into the chomp. The battle's way too close. Way too close. Hmm. <laughs> this one's I don't know. I feel like we still have a shot here. I don't think Skull Villain outspeeds. But the thing is, Skull Villain will it die to an EQ. I feel like it has to protect the EQ at this point. It has to protect EQ. There's to protect. We, we read that. Sucker Punch is going to come out from the Ascarada. Deal some damage. Just a little bit. Just a tad bit. And he goes for an EQ. Small villain. Eat this up. Eat this up, dude. Oh, never mind. You want 17 HP. I thought you were higher than that. <laughs> I thought you were higher than that. Um, We only have Grafia. But it's not looking good. This is a solid battle, though. It was a solid battle. Again, once that Tailwind came out with the uh, with the Murkrow, I kind of knew it was over. I do have Foul Play. Hmm. Maybe. Just maybe Foul Play could take out the Chomp. I doubt it, but we're going to go for it. The thing is, once Tailwind ends, we can outspeed. Just for Dragon Call. Can you even eat this up? Yeah, no. Okay, never mind. Garchomp just, <laughs> just straight up Dragon Calls us, takes out. But yo, what a third and final battle. Came down to the wire. We go 2-1 for today's video and grab ourselves a winning record. What a fun team to use on the rank ladder. 2-1 for today's video. Absolutely loving the Mirror Herb Dragapult and the Skull Villain. I thought both of them were very fun to use and at the same time, very strong to use in the Master Tier. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.